Office and Financial Misappropriation. Nairobi magistrate has sentenced the former CS to six years in jail or pay an alternative fine of 3.6 million shillings. The CS was yesterday found guilty of multiple charges of corruption and abuse of, uh, of office connection to the theft of 88 million shillings in the 2016 Rio Olympic scandal. That has happened while he was cabinet secretary for sports. This was given for Warriors co-accused Stephen Soy. The former National Olympics Committee official has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for a fine of 84.6 million shillings after he was found guilty of five counts of corruption. Yesterday, Wario and Soy were both found guilty of various charges, but four other officials implicated in the 2016 Olympic saga were acquitted of any wrongdoing. Following the ruling by Chief Magistrate Elizabeth Juma, both Wario and Soy were remanded overnight awaiting today's verdict. A report provided by the prosecution in the case against the former CS showed that Wario was implicit in authorizing illegal payments and the inclusion of unauthorized persons in the Kenyan team that went to Rio de Janeiro in 2016. A tune of 88 million shillings and sports gear worth millions of shillings from the sportswear giant Nike were lost in the scandal. Overpriced plane tickets and an allowed expenditure were also part of the charges lobbied against Wario. Wario was first arrested in 2018 while he was serving at Kenya's embassy in Austria and the court ordered that he do not return to Austria until the Many corruption and mismanagement cases against senior government officials in the past have ended up without convictions and off time the accused get away by easily paying the said fines despite being found guilty of the said crimes. In 2018, 26 officials from the National Treasury, including former Treasury CS Henry Rotich, were charged with corruption in the widely publicized Arol and Kimarel Dam scandal. Rotich was charged with two counts of irregular award of tenders to an Italian construction company for the construction of the Arod Dam project in the Rest Valley. The payment for the tender totaled to more than 295 million shillings. The Treasury Principal Secretary Kamau Thuge was also implicated in the scandal, but the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, later dropped the charges against him and presented him as a state witness in the case. Two charges against Rotich were recently dropped by the court of a lack of enough evidence. Although the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, EACC, claims that it has investigated 1,000 cases of corruption and prosecuted 169 suspects, Cases of corruption involving high-profile suspects have always dragged on for much longer than expected. In a different case, Cilicia MP John Waluke was sentenced to 10 years in jail for theft of over 290 million shillings belonging to the National Cereals and Produce Board, NCPB. Despite Waluke being convicted and charged alongside his co-accused Grace Wakungu, he filed an appeal against the sentence that is still in court today. Waris Kimathi, Lukap TV, Nairobi.